Well, hello again. Happy Monday. As I mentioned earlier, we started out the day pretty overcast, but we picked up some sunshine, partly cloudy skies here in San Angelo. We see a pretty big array of temperatures right now across the region to the southeast. We're upper 70s. Then as you start to move northwest, mid 70s, then lower 70s, then upper to mid 60s. Now, it's kind of hard to differentiate now, but earlier in the day, right through here is a frontal boundary. We're going to talk a little bit more about why that's important later, but along that boundary, as you see, northwest of that boundary are the cooler temperatures, southeast of that boundary are those warmer temperatures. Now, as I just said, we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. Lows tonight. Ooh. Lows tonight are going to be in those lower 50s to upper 40s. We're looking at around 50 degrees here in San Angelo, Abilene 50 as well. Roby going to be a cooler spot, 43 is their anticipated low tonight. Now, tomorrow, optimal sweater weather is going to be a high. Five, some areas only get into the upper 50s tomorrow. Tim, I mentioned earlier, you definitely want to be bundled up as you take Anchor out for a walk in the morning. That's for any of our pet owners. It's going to be a very chilly start to the day, and it's not going to warm up that much as you see with cloudy skies. There are some isolated rain chances in the picture tomorrow as well, but we're going to be a good 10 degrees below average for this time of year, and I'm, I'm feeling it. But looking at the rest of the week, it's going to get even cooler. By Wednesday, we're going to drop to the upper 50s and then by Thursday to the lower 50s. We'll rebound back to the 60s by Friday and into the 70s by weekend. But let's talk about the why. So I mentioned earlier we have this frontal boundary draping through our viewing area to the northwest of that boundary where the, those cooler temperatures and southeast where those warmer temperatures. Throughout the night to, into tomorrow morning, overnight tomorrow morning, the, the cold air is going to overtake. You know, we cool overnight and that cooler air is going to overtake that boundary, creating a a cold front that's going to stall over our area throughout the day tomorrow giving those rain chances I talked about so yes a good day for a sweater but also have that rain gear on hand because over the day tomorrow overnight into Wednesday that that um, front is going to move southward giving more rain possible thunderstorm activity tomorrow night we're not looking at any concerns for any severe thunderstorms but you might hear a couple rumbles of thunder or so overnight on Tuesday Wednesday into Thursday, that's just going to continue to move south, leaving the taking the rain with it and leaving us with some elevated cloud cover on Thursday. But like I like I mentioned earlier, we're going to rebound pretty quickly between Friday and Saturday to our average highs. But another thing I want to point out, we're coming up on that first day or that first freeze of the year. The average first freeze kind of varies, but around our viewing area. Sterling City usually sees their first freeze as early as tomorrow here in Abilene. We have about another week or so, but we're not looking at any freezing temperatures right now. But I did just want to point out that average first freeze is usually within the first two weeks of November. So that's definitely something to be keeping an eye on. But to recap this with the seven day, we're going to see those rain chances between tomorrow into Wednesday with that cold front pushing through highs on Wednesday and Thursday are going to be in the 50s but after that front end those clouds completely move out of our way we're going to be left with sunshine for the rest of the forecast period and by the start of next week we'll be above average once again Abilene same story cloud cover for the next couple of days with those elevated rain chances they're going to stick in the 50s a little longer because as you saw that cold front is going to hover over the big country for most of tomorrow so once that moves out the picture they'll take a little warmer to warm up but We'll be right back at average by this time next week. 